Hey guys, it's Will Davison here, FPR driver and FPV ambassador, and it's Bathurst week. Uh, Bathurst is our big race, it's our grand final. Uh, huge race for any driver and any team. Really means a lot, and never more so than this year, 50 years. So uh, every week I head to Bathurst, make a bit of a road trip of it, and uh, just go for a nice cruise, ease into the week slowly before the pressure starts. And today I've been treated and given the keys to the new FPV GDR spec. Uh, I've already said how much I love this car, so it's going to be a mega trip uh, on the roads to Mount Panorama. So let's go, let's go for a bit of a spin and uh, have a bit of a play. Alright, so we're finally on the road to Bathurst, and it's about now where I really start to generally uh, get in the zone, you know, you're on the, on the way to the famous mountain and it really starts to uh, dawn on you that it's going to be a, a massive few days. Um, it's just a perfect time now, this is really my last opportunity to have some thoughts to myself, some time to myself and, and uh, really, you know, really take in Bathurst and what it means and, and what it'll mean to win this weekend and I, I try to not focus on the outcome too much. It's really easy to get carried away in the whole emotion of what Bathurst means and I really just try and uh, concentrate on my job and doing my job to the best of my ability. Every single lap I do in the car, uh, make sure it's mistake free and uh, if we do all those little things right, you know, I'm sure Sunday afternoon we'll be in with a shot. So, um, you know, I really love it. It's a perfect day, sun's out. I'm in my favourite car you can possibly have. I crank some tunes up and, as I said, uh, just really get my thoughts together because there's a lot of pressure on this week. Um, it means a lot to a lot of people and I love it. It's a real team team effort this week. So looking forward to getting up there and seeing the boys and, and really start putting our plans together, our strategies together. Um, you know, get together with Johnny, my co-driver, and make sure he's comfortable and set up camp, so to speak and uh, you know it's a big few days so you want to peak on Sunday, uh, work through our programs on Thursday, have a good qualifying Friday, hopefully we're in the big shootout Saturday and it's all about Sunday and uh, it's such a long race, you need to make sure you're mistake free, make sure you're rested, make sure you don't wear yourself out come Friday and that's why uh, this road trip is something I really enjoy because uh, it enables me to keep a lid on it and not peak on like Thursday, I want to peak Sunday. So I've been going to Bathurst sort of seven or eight times now and certainly had some highs and lows. Uh, and uh, yeah, after winning at no nine, I probably know how much it means now and I reckon a second time I'd appreciate it that bit more and hopefully be the first person to win it in both factory teams. Uh, FPR's never, never won Bathurst before, so it would certainly mean a hell of a lot to give them their first victory at the mountain absolutely no reason we can't do it this year we're as well prepared as anyone we've got the best team in pit lane so uh, let's just hope the racing gods are on our side this weekend and we can uh, give something back to uh, all our diehard fans and particularly in the famous 77 livery we're running running this weekend um, you know i'll be giving it my all so um, fingers crossed for us okay so we've finally arrived here at bathurst it's a really special trip in a really special car. Absolutely sensational day, sun's shining. Uh, always get goosebumps when you see the Mount Panorama sign for the first time. Place looks amazing. It's such a special track that uh, already getting nervous. Cannot wait to hit the track in anger. Uh, but for now, I've got a really special treat for you. All right, gang, so we're gonna do a lap of the circuit now. So we're on the front straight right now. It's always a really eerie feeling, like here I am at pole position right now, empty grandstands, and you just know what this place is going to be like Sunday morning on the starting grid. It's honestly what I do this sport for. The atmosphere on the grid is always just phenomenal here. So uh, open roads right now, it's a bit of a weird feeling. Um, place looks fantastic. Already I can see there's... Uh, double the grandstands to what we've seen here in a while, a lot more corporate boxes. So I think what that's telling us is it's gonna be uh, big crowds, 50 years, and they're saying it's gonna be a full house. So already got our boys here, uh, the FPR boys in their buses, uh, pulling into the house we stay. So 
the special thing about Bathurst, we either camp, stay in motorhomes, stay in the houses, lining the circuit. And that's what I love about Bathurst. There's people still staying in their homes all the way around the circuit. All right, we've got the all clear to do a really slow lap of Mount Panorama. <laughs> it's always good to do a slow lap actually, because no matter how many times I come to this circuit, I arrive Thursday and it, it just blows you away. When, when you're going 300k an hour or full noise around here, everything happens very quick and I only look at what I need to look at. But it's once everything slows down that you actually realise how crazy this circuit is and uh, it actually brings it to home how fast everything's happening in the race because you get from A to B so quick. But when you do it slow like now and we're coming over the famous Crescent Mountain straight here and uh, yeah, you can't believe how steep it actually really is. And it just takes your breath away. Every time I come here, you, you're just in awe of this circuit. It really is a special place, incredible corners. As you can see, a very uh, steep approach. Steep approach to turn two. That's why you can break so late at this part of the circuit. Your mind says you can't, but you can, and you can carry a lot of speed here because naturally the car gets slowed up by the uphill uh, approach to this corner. So uh, these are all the little tricks to Bathurst. It's making sure you keep your road speed up. Use the road to your advantage. Fantastic corner turn two, Griffin's Bend. Really enjoy it. Now we head up to the cutting and it's so steep up here. Television doesn't really do it justice. Very narrow. It's like a tunnel at this part of the circuit. You've got to be absolutely millimetre per perfect in the race car. This is where you start really losing your breath in the race car. We come into the famous cutting. You've got to get the car so close to the wall. Hook the car into a certain groove. And that's the trick to Bathurst, is finding the grooves, finding the pieces of track which work to your advantage. But this is just a tunnel and it's super fast. You have gotta be really committed, really precise. And as I said, millimeter perfect and the speed you can carry when you get this place right is, is phenomenal, but you can never see where you're going. <laughs> it's always blind, so you gotta have your wits about you. You've got to know what every little drop in the road, every little bump's going to do to the car. I love driving around here now. You see everyone setting up camp for a big week. You already see the barbecues going and uh, everyone having their first beer. <laughs> Down into the famous grate here. Uh, you wouldn't believe you're doing over 200 kilometers an hour in the race. We've all crashed at this famous wall, the Brock's Lounges. Myself had a big accident there a few years ago. Really keen to keep it out of the wall this year, but you know, over the famous crest into McPhillamy Park here. Really light lift of the throttle. You know, we're talking 200 plus K an hour through the apex of this corner. And it's really looking over the edge of Brock's skyline here that uh, that just blows you away. I mean, the view on a day like today is simply mind blowing. You know, <laughs> you never get to see this when you're racing around here, but it's now you can stop and take it in. And it's just these views that I never forget. You know, often on the opening lap of the race, you see the helicopters basically at eye line view. And uh, yeah, it's simply, honestly, the best racetrack in the world. You know, you realize how Nature takes you down here, so you're always fighting against nature. The road is going downhill. You're trying to slow the car down at this part of the track. You've got to be so accurate. You've got to be in the right piece of the road. Otherwise, you're going to have a big accident. The famous dipper here. I love it when the car shoots up onto two wheels in qualifying. You get massive feedback through the steering, really trying to wrestle the car. And this incredible tunnel here. I mean, for most people, they go, how do you go so fast at this part of the circuit? Because they don't know where the road's going. But I know every little inch of this track, you can see the interesting cambers in the road and uh, you've got to hug the wall extremely tight at certain places to get that little bit of extra grip. Famous forest elbow, you'll see, you'll see a point in the wall that sticks out here. You want to get as close to that as you can. Really hooks the front of the car in, enables you to carry that extra 
a couple and a k an hour in the uh, middle of the corner and get to that throttle as early as possible. You always see people doing their track walks Wednesday, Thursday, getting into the zone and uh, you know, the famous Conrod Straight now. Uh, you know, really where you let these things open up. And this is the one point in the lap where you can take your lap in, you can assess whether it's in the race, you can assess how things are going, what your car's like, you can have a drink, you can talk to your engineer in qualifying. It's this one second probably where you take about your second breath of the whole lap and really focus on this final sector, which is extremely important, particularly in qualifying. You know, we hit 300k an hour down at the chase here and getting your braking markers absolutely spot on are very critical. Critical parts to the lap in qualifying, critical parts to the race in getting uh, your overtaking done. But right now, just taking it in, you can see some new f safety fencing there on the left, which I haven't seen before. Uh, as I said, just uh, just so special seeing this place uh, in a slow lap. It's my favourite part of the weekend, really, just that first lap of Bathurst, no matter how many times, just seeing each corner for what it is for that first time is Pretty cool, but it, to be honest, it gets the hair standing up on the back of my neck because you know what this place is like in anger and it's rewarding, it's fun, but it's bloody scary as well. You've got to really hang it all on the line. You really do here. You've got to have confidence in the car. You really need to be a step ahead of the car at all times. So we need to work well with the engineers through practice. We need to run through a range of set up changes to make sure the car's good in your qualifying. You gotta make sure it's really good on full tanks. You gotta be on top of the track as it evolves over the weekend. Right now it's quite green and slippery. It's just gonna get more and more rubber down in the next few days. So we have gotta be on top of that. You gotta have confidence in your car here at Bathurst. And, uh, and when you are confident, there's just no better feeling in the world when you're on top of your car around here, so. That's a lap of Bathurst. We're approaching the start finish straight again. So uh, that's my slowest lap all weekend. Hopefully uh, we're gonna have some good laps this weekend that I'm gonna enjoy very much. So giving a wave to Garth Tander, probably my big rival this weekend. So, you know, right now everyone's in good spirits. It's a, always a, a warm feeling around the Bathurst paddock now. Everyone's very respectful of this place, of this race and of our competitors. But for sure, it's going to be uh, it's going to be war when we get out there. Thanks, guys.